What's up, my wizards? It's Dev from SBMTG on the YouTube.com down there. We like magic, and I've got three more Amonkhet spoiler cards for you tonight here. It is like a little after 1 a.m. here on the East Coast, so normally I would wait until tomorrow and just throw these in with tomorrow's batch of cards, but I think that at least two of these are impactful enough that I could not wait to talk about them, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, sandwiched between two decent cards that are fun to talk about, we got this relatively bad card. This is Protection of the Hecma right here. It's five mana, four and a white for an enchantment. If a source an opponent controls would deal damage to you, prevent one of that damage. Well, it's nice to have something that will protect us against the rising tide of Sunscorched Desert decks, probably. <laughs> I mean, all kidding aside, though, this technically does, you know, stop cat combo, and it also stops, like, walking ballista. That's kind of cool. Thermo alchemist activations. I don't know. I'm reaching at this point, but still, I mean, that's a fair amount of utility, but it is five mana, and, like, if you're going to use a white card to stop cat combo, it would probably be Authority of the Consoles, which costs one-fifth of what this costs. So, <laughs> it's not going to see you play in standard, but at least it does stuff in standard. I'd be remiss if I didn't bring that up. And there's other cool stuff about it, like Pillow Fort Commander decks will probably like this. And, like, it's really funny with um, a Johnny Steadfast ultimate. You know, just prevent all but one damage from any source, and then this prevents that last damage. So that's just kind of hilarious. But altogether, kind of a bad card. So let's move on to a card. I was going to say to a good card, but... We'll be the judge of that. Let's talk about Bantu right here, the black god. This is Bantu the Glorified. He's three mana, two and a black for a 4-6 menace indestructible. Bantu the Glorified can't attack or block unless a creature died under your control this turn. And you can pay one and a black and sacrifice another creature to scry one. And each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So an aristocrat's god. I think that's super duper awesome although you could argue that this is one of the harder conditions to turn on if not the hardest that we've seen so far on any god although three mana four four six minutes indestructible is exactly the right deal <laughs> you know like three mana for four six minutes indestructible is probably worth having to have a creature die especially if you're building around this which you probably will you probably will this is just basically another zulaport cutthroat you can throw in your deck in standard, so that's kind of cool. And we've got, like, Yehenny right now. We've seen um, Dread Wanderer earlier today. Seems to work pretty well with this. You know, Relentless Dead already exists. Scrap Heap Scrounger to a certain extent. We see other creatures that work well with this. We've got Blister Pod in standard. You know, we just saw, um, what is it, Doom Dissenter earlier. That kind of works well with this, too. So, I mean, we got some brewing up. It's just cool. We've got, like, a Zulaport Cutthroat and a Catacomb Sifter, like, stapled to each other with Menace. That's kind of cool. And I like the menace on this. It's actually sneakily ingenious. Because, like, you're sacrificing guys, but they still have to have multiple dudes to block this. So you still, like, you're, you're, it's something that resembles parody at the very least. So I think that's, that's neat, too. But altogether, I don't think this is the best god. But it is probably the god I am most excited to build around. Because if you've been with the channel, you know I love the Aristocrats. So. And there's a burgeoning, you know, mono-black even, Aristocrats deck. But probably, like, green-black or black-white aristocrats deck that's that's sort of taking shape throughout this this spoiler season and the last couple of spoiler seasons it keeps getting like a piece or two every set so if we can finally put that thing together it's looking pretty straight and this will definitely be a two of at least in there but this guy that i'm about to show you this guy is the talk of the town it's one of the best cards we've seen in the set so far mark my words possible multi-format staple right here world Here's Harsh Mentor. Harsh Mentor is two mana. That's one and a red for a 2-2 human cleric. Whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact, creature, or land on the battlefield, if it isn't a mana ability, Harsh Mentor deals two damage to that player. Insane hate bear in red. Like, just a couple of sets ago, we were talking about, like, the first red 2-2 two -two for two that had, like, no downside. You know, it was just a vanilla... Two mana, two, two. And that was like a, a somewhat of a big deal for Magic Historians. Now, we have a two mana, two, two with an insane upside that, by the way, doesn't affect us. The word opponent is key here. We can still do whatever we want with our artifact creatures and lands. This, they got to worry about their stuff. And this is insane and, like, modern and legacy, by the way. Like, if they pop fetch lands instead of just taking the one, they now take three in order to do that. So this makes, you know, that makes this a modern all-star right there. But there's a lot of other stuff that you could, you could like hate on with this, basically. This is just the amazing hate bear. Let me get, let me give myself some editing to do and talk about just a few things that this hates on. 
Okay, so Death Rite Shaman, any equipment that you might come across, Wasteland and Ghost Quarter, that's awesome. This um, deals with any kind of egg kind of deck, you know. Um, Viscera Seer, trying to like sacrifice Kitchen Finks over and over again, breaks that combo. Um, Kiki Jiki, breaks anything that you might do with that, that's pretty cool. And that's all just like modern and vintage stuff. In Standard, it does cool stuff too, you know, it stops them, well it doesn't stop, but punishes people for crewing vehicles, that's cool. Walking Ballista, anytime they want to deal even one damage to a target, Walking Ballista suddenly has them take two damage, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Activating Creature Lands, that makes them take two too. These new gods that all have activated abilities, boom, take two for any of those. That's awesome. And note that this is damage and not loss of life, so you can redirect it to planeswalkers. Just the card is ridiculous. Let's look at all the stuff that it does. Like, there's even more stuff than that. And we were talking about standard and modern and legacy here, and even vintage in a way, you know. There's just so many different interactions that this card has that, like, you can't list them all in one video. This is just an insane hate pair that's going to see a bunch of play. It's already pre-ordering for, like, $12 on Star City and I mean it's probably gonna pop up in the next day or so here on TCG player I'd be interested to see what this card does price wise um, in, the, in the coming weeks and after release too because this card looks fan freaking tastic and like it's going to be important for a long time so big fan of this huge awesome super duper fan of this card so thanks for printing this wizards if you can tell i'm a little bit flustered got the vapors because i think it's ridiculous you know everyone's talking about the expected value looks fairly low in this set and the the you know just the power level of the set looks a little bit lower than usual and honestly you know that that's been the pattern usually they print a couple of awesome blocks and then they kind of peel back for a little bit take the power level down sort of address people's um, concerns <laughs> that standard is getting a little bit too overpowered, which people are definitely concerned with right now. Um, and you know, Amonkhet looks like a set that aims at doing that. But having seen this thing now, it's at least got one card that people are going to want for you know multi-format play. So. Oh, huge fan. Awesome. Thanks for printing that stupid thing. And there's going to be more cards, by the way. Wednesday morning, I'm sure there'll be more spoilers. Um, and then Thursday and Friday, too. And my preview card's coming up soon, you know, April the 13th. That card's going up, so just a lot going on this week in the world of magic. The rest of the set will be spoiled super, super soon. So stick with us. Sub if you're new. Hit the bell to get the notifications. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter. SBMTG Dev and like all my stuff, send me presents. Do the things. Anyway, all the YouTube spiel aside, I am Deb from SBMTG. Let me know how you felt about all of these three cards. How do you, do you think I'm over judging this harsh mentor, this this red bear right here? I don't think I am. I think this card is actually going to be ridiculous. So let me know how you feel about all this stuff and how you feel about Amon Ket at large, for that matter. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, my wizards.